Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Aethodis, and I'm going to give you some hints and tips on how to play Farm Simulator 2013 or just Farm Simulator for the PlayStation Vita, which eventually I believe is coming onto the PS3 and Xbox later. And sorry, I kind of have my webcam sitting on my shoulder, so I'm trying my very best to keep this in focus. So we'll just jump right into the game. Now, basically, the confusion of this game is there is absolutely no instructions on how to play this game, which is confusing everybody. Basically, if you follow some easy steps, you can easily complete the game. Now, I've played a little bit already. You start off with your basic tractor, with your basic cultivator or your plow. You, you cultivate, you like if you're starting out with an empty field, like it's harvested already, I'll eventually get to showing it. You use this first, or you will use the bigger red one to cover more area. And once you've finished that, you will want to seed your product, which will be either your wheat, your corn, or your canola. And you'll start out with the basic small one. And then there's the bigger red one, which you will later want to buy. And then when you finish that, you will water, and then you obviously get the bigger one, and then you wait for your crops to grow, and you will. This combine, uh, which is the basic one you start off with, can only harvest wheat and canola, and then you have the bigger one that has the bigger blades on it, and then of course you got your corn harvesters, but don't harvest corn for a while. And then your trailers, I recommend getting the big one as soon as possible so you can carry more and sell more. And then this, these are this is the baler for if you're harvesting wheat. You can bale it, but I don't don't need to do it right away. And then instead of watering, you can use this, but you don't need to worry about that for now. But anyways, as you can see, I have one field. It is growing right now. And if you, uh, it has your <coughs> options and stuff, but. It's all easy to figure it out. And you want to keep a look on your prices. <clears throat> you can't really tell right now, but right on the bottom, it says the N is on high demand of wheat, and it'll give you it's a 1.7 factor, and you have, I have seven minutes left. So the N will give me about 2,838 for wheat. I don't know. But for now, I'm not going to do that. I already have a large number of tractors already in combines but basically second this is canola I believe uh, it will be a little higher and then you obviously combine it and then when you're done combining you would run the plow I got the bigger red plow and you'll plow that out and then you would want to seed it which I believe if you oh and when you're seeding if you hit the second button right here it will change what you plant. Right now I'm on wheat, now it will be on corn, and now it is on canola. So the second button is how you change your settings. And then activating it, or you just hit circle to start and stop, and then your horn, but no one gives a care about that. And then deattach, and then you can reattach it, you back up. There. And then when you're close to a field, there will be another symbol that looks like a driving wheel, which is not focusing on my laptop. That's basically an auto drive, so it will pay someone to auto drive. You'll lose a little bit of money, but for the harvesting and the plowing, you can have an auto drive. It won't use that much money, and if you, but if you do it for like watering or planting, it will use up a little more of your money, and I gotta go fill this up and I'm going to be out of water and you have a mini map which will save your life you can't really tell mine I haven't bought any fields yet I've just been getting a good steady enough system to where I can actually keep going if I if none of my, if my crop doesn't harvest or get become ready right away I'll just buy a plot of land and just show you guys how to do it so I don't think that one's going to be ripe right away. Because you start out at the beginning of the game with three. 
you start out with this one as you saw it just grew a little bit more this one I had just finished it's all ready to start growing and then this one I'm waiting for it to finish but I don't think it's going to harvest soon enough so I'll just buy this plot of land if you have the mini map on or the full map you can actually just click on the little symbol you probably can't tell um, let me change something there we go um, you can't really see the symbol but there's like a little plus sign by the field yes so I'll just go over there and start it right now show you guys how to properly now for the plow I was just I just put it on auto drive just so it goes for you and I can worry about my other fields and there the canola field just finished and sorry you can see my laptop in the back we'll activate and we'll start harvesting this Put that on auto drive. Check out where he is. He's good. And I'll just show you where the place is on the map to go purchase your items if you can see. Um, yeah, it's not going to show you very well. So basically, if you want seeds, it'll be this area right here is where you will buy your seeds and to buy seeds you have to take your seed gathering um, or your seed planter you have to take it to there to fill it and then gas you just drive your vehicle over there and to fill it and then when you buy anything it will appear down here you either have to take your tractor to pick it up or your tractor will spawn there it will switch to it automatically and you just drive home your selling points is there 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 and there you basically just keep an eye out on your prices list on which place has the is selling the most this is the up one here is your station this is the mill this is the inn and I think this is the slurry and then your silos is right there your water is right here it's you'll figure it out eventually um, I'll just, sorry uh, it's getting dark on it, but show demand and prices. Yes, so now station wants corn, so I don't obviously need that. Plant. It's getting the ground ready. Planting the crops. I actually think the ground's already plowed. I'm just showing, kind of showing you guys on how it plows. Yeah, yeah the ground's plowed already. And when you have the combine on auto drive, it won't automatically go to empty. It'll just sit there. So that's when you just take in your little tractor or something. Drive up to combine, let it empty it out, and the combine will continue on its way. Uh, yeah, I'll put you on auto drive. I'm just kind of trying to get everything out of the way. Yeah, you definitely want to invest in more than one tractor so you can multitask. Get more than one person going at the same time. And make sure you got enough money to have the auto drivers, otherwise 
you're gonna have your problems. Oh, probably should have been driving the other direction. And if there's anything that I might have missed and you might be wondering about, let me know and I could go and fix it. Let you wait. But yeah, this is just the basics. If you have any other information about how to do something, I don't have the baler currently because I just you don't really need it in my opinion. You just want your crops, because that's obviously going to be your source of income. But like I said, if there's anything you want to know about, let me know and I can make another video or answer any questions in the comment box that you might be having. So yeah. This is Aethodis helping you with Farm Simulator. Hopefully this was of help. Thanks for watching.